Hi, I'm Cara, and this week we followed Lauren Geraldo's 12 3 30 treadmill workout. Ooh. Needless to say, it didn't go as planned. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. So, the Lauren Geraldo 12 3 30 treadmill workout plan. What is it? I hear you ask. So you do the treadmill, well I guess as often as you like, but for 30 minutes on a 12 incline at 3 miles an hour. Essentially it's the brainchild, I think, of Lauren Geraldo, the queen, the insta baddie. We love an unproblematic queen that we know of. Having followed Lauren for the last, I don't know, year, two years? I've seen her kind of get her life together and that's what we want, we want to get our lives together, we want to look after our bodies, so that's what we're doing this week. This is how it went. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Me. <sighs> I actually thought this was gonna be like an easy challenge. Apparently not. I literally can barely walk. It's harder than it looks. Honest to God, it's so much harder than it looks. So day one didn't quite go as planned. There I was thinking Geez, this is tough. And I uh, did the whole 30 minutes on the wrong speed. So uh, found out after day one that it's not three kilometers per hour, it's three miles an hour. Bruh. So uh, day two is gonna be hard. Yeah. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. I literally can barely walk. It's really humid outside, it's like 36 degrees. It's like 10 p.m. I haven't been able to work out today because uh, it's just too hot. So I didn't go to the gym. Gym's closed now. Do I still try and do it? But like, on the stairs, in my flat. It's day four. I failed yesterday. That's okay though, we're getting back on the grind. We haven't given up. We're gonna keep going, you know? I couldn't sleep, it was too hot. I couldn't work out, it was too hot. It was like 36 degrees and um, your girl didn't work out. It was an unexpected rest day. Still productive though, you know? We were living our best insta baddie life for all of five minutes, but um, we're still going. <laughs> myself again so I uh, may or may not have made a poor life choice last night we may have fallen off of the uh, wagon as it were I had a, just a little McDonald's you know <laughs> but we're not gonna let us break but we're not gonna let that break us. Normally, I get in a bit of a cycle and takeaways on the cards again the next night, but we're not gonna do that this time. We ain't about that life anymore. For me to go like even seven days without a takeaway is like a miracle. And it's one of the reasons I'm overweight. So if we can break the cycle, I'm just gonna be so proud. I've got to get through today first. So uh, let's see how that uh, pans out. Let's go to the gym, shall we? <laughs> I mean, give
given the fact that I've not really done any consistent exercise for two years, this is getting easier and it and it's probably very manageable for people who have any semblance of fitness. So I think it's gonna take a while for me to kind of get on top of this because it's hard, harder than it should be. But I think it's getting easier. The heat is really not helping. We're right in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK. It's like 34, 36 degrees out every damn day at the moment. So it's tough out here, guys. So we're coming to the end of the week and I'm really quite proud of myself so far. We've stuck to it. I've quite enjoyed it, actually. It's worked out a bit. I've gone for a swim a few times. I've done my daily car, although we've had a few blips along the way i'm quite proud of how i've done so far and to be quite honest the proudest thing that i've achieved in this week is kind of breaking the cycle of me getting a takeaway and then wanting a takeaway every single night i mean wouldn't that be the life but we stayed on track we didn't have a second takeaway and uh i'm quite proud of myself so uh, i think we've done all right guys It's been seven days. I feel like I've really got myself into a routine at the gym now. Your girl lost three pounds this week, which I'm really quite proud about. I can start to see like small changes. It's only been seven days, so we can't expect miracles, but I can see where my fat or my belly is still getting a little bit, you know, looser as it's gonna do. I'm getting a little bit more loose skin, which is fine. It's just getting a bit more, you know, Jiggly jiggly. I feel like my legs look a little bit more toned because I've, you know, got off my ass this week. So wonderful. So yeah, hopefully I keep it up and we keep rolling forward with the progress. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. <laughs>